Hello and welcome to this classroom chat with Kapil Gupta of neatprep.com. Let's discuss about what's really happening, Kapil, with the NEET examination results. Uh, 7th of September, at least that's the date by which the results will be out. But has it been all a smooth process? What is your assessment about how the entire process of evaluation, the answer key, and the final results, which will be out in a two, three days, uh, how, how has it really gone through? So, Sudhir, uh, thank you very much for this opportunity. Uh, I think uh, leaves a lot to be desired. Uh, exam happened on 17 July. Yes. NTA first told the students on 25th or 26th August when they'll release the answer key and when the result is going to happen. So that, in my mind, uh, is, is terrible. Uh, there should be a date sheet. This day, admit card, this day, uh, result, uh, this day, exam. Uh, this day counseling starts, this day counseling ends. Uh, it can easily uh, happen. Uh, I have no idea why this has happened. Now, uh, interestingly, out of 200 questions, five questions definitely seem controversial, mm. deserve yeah. uh, to be given as bonus to every student. It has mm. not happened. Uh, students uh, have been challenging for last two days. It has been a war zone out there. Mm. Everyone trying to challenge, mm. everyone trying to enter the website. Website is not optimized for that kind of traffic. People yeah. pay, they don't get uh, the receipt. Mm. They are trying to run around. They are running on Telegram channels and YouTube channels. Tell us, sir, mm. what to do. Mm. So uh, it's a fictional war out there. Mm. And on right. top of it, tomorrow, mm. uh, Kanganagar students, as mm. well as uh, students in five uh, cities, including one in Kolam in Kerala. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they will get an opportunity to write the exam right. again. But if it's yes. an opportunity or not, no one knows because they have gotten full eight days notice to prepare 96 chapters in NEET syllabus. Mm. Okay. So basically lack of understanding, perhaps we can call it lack of empathy with the student who is already going through a whole lot of pressure. And there are people, students who are droppers who have been kind of preparing this syllabus for more than a year, sometimes even more than two years. So uh, what happens now? So the NTA has to clarify about what it will do with these five questions, given the fact that, as you say, there are lots of students who have challenged this question. So what is the window period uh, that we ideally have? I mean, does it have to be done before the 7th of September? So two things. Uh, the window to challenge expired last night. So they gave hmm. two days yeah. and it expired last night. Yes. What they have said, so at least the good thing that has happened this year is Till last year, and uh, please don't laugh al aloud, I'm going to tell you something. Till last year, if you challenged and they agreed, you will get the marks, but other people would not, would not even if they were also right. right. At least this okay. year, what they have done is, I have challenged, someone else did not challenge. I agree that uh, this question is wrong. It applies to everyone. Everyone, right? okay. So at okay. least... <laughs> So, okay. So there has been some improvement. Yeah. So otherwise, yeah. Till, last, last, till last year, everyone had to apply. If I did not apply, I don't get the uh, benefit yes. of it. Okay. okay. And you can uh, probably that was happening because they've already uh, calculated uh, the uh, 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 final score, etc. So they don't want to run the hassle of pressing the button and let the software do it again. Right. So uh, this year, at least, uh, that is an improvement. Now it, uh, it remains to be seen when they will see that we have made these changes or they will publish the final answer key on uh, 7th. They have mm. said very clearly that what we have published mm. uh, on 31st August is a provisional answer key. It mm. is not a final answer key. It is subject to changes mm. based on the challenges which would be made and which would be reviewed by our expert technical committee. Right. So uh, five questions is obviously a significant number or is it is a lot of whether a student goes to get admission to a government medical college or has to go to a private medical college. Obviously, in terms of fees also, it's quite a bit of a gap between the two, right? The gap is this much, Sudhir. Uh, uh, 10 to 50,000 rupees, 10 to 50,000 rupees, uh, government medical college. Mm -hmm. And uh, 10 to 18 lakh rupees, 10 lakh to 18 lakh rupees in uh, private medical college. So almost 100 in a year. Times. Yeah, in a year. Right. So that's the kind of difference possibly these five questions, these questions could make. make. Yes. This question, which is why the uh, the tension, the worry, the anxiety uh, among the students ki kuch na kuch karna padega. Oh, it's, uh, it's terrible. Uh, if you see the comments on the videos that we put out, hmm. it almost seemed like uh, 
they are getting the first flavor of the Q culture, which is there in India, that uh, things will be broken up all over the place and you're just trying to find your way out. Hmm. But if the five questions, if everybody, if everyone, irrespective of what his or her answers were, gets uniform marks, I mean, that again creates a level playing field or will it really change the dynamics of the ranks in any way? It does to an extent in the sense that uh, some students marked it right. They will uh-huh. lose that advantage. In, in all fairness, it becomes an exam out of 175 questions rather than 180 questions. It gets marks right. out, out of 175 questions. Right, right. Okay. So you are expecting that they should uh, resolve this over the next three days or so, so that the students can then breathe easy. But uh, last question, how has it affected the preparation for the 2023 meet? Uh, uh, are students still in wait and watch mode, those who want to probably take a drop and uh, appear again next year? How has it affected those set of students? Sure. So Sudhir, uh, 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 one type of people understood after the exam that they don't stand a chance and they started preparing because they understood that uh, the window is uh, only so much. Hmm. Uh, You get nine months to prepare, uh, can't afford to waste time. So a lot of people started then. A lot of people were thinking of starting after results and uh, a lot of people will start uh, after uh, after uh, announcement of answer key and then mm. a lot of people will start after uh, results. results now uh, but what has happened is this uh, this thing which was going on with respect to all the challenging etc it mm. was almost like it might not have affected a lot of students who are who know they are not going to get into a government college this year but mm. it's like uh, you have an accident on the other side of the road and traffic on this side also stops mm. so it is possible that it has served as a huge distraction mm. for uh, everyone who's associated with NEET in some form yeah. or the other. Everyone right. has stopped and uh, watching the spectacle. Watching. Mm. Okay, yeah. okay. Not a very great situation to be in. Uh, let's hope there is some clarity, uh, some light at the end of the tunnel. and hopefully Indeed, I, I have a question for you. Yes, please. Uh, my question is, what are you hearing out of the grapevine, Jin Loko Aap Jante Hai, about this merger of CUET, NEET, and JEE? Well, uh, it is um, a shot in the dark which has been fired. They want to obviously see what is the reaction from those who man the IITs, run the IITs, the medical council, the medical colleges, etc. I don't think anything is final yet. Also because there has been a very mixed reaction to the manner in which CUET itself was conducted this year. CUET Hmm. itself went through a whole lot of technical issues, especially the second leg. Uh, exams had to be cancelled, postponed. There was confusion till you reach the examination center. Aapko pata nahi tha ki exam ho raha hai nahi kind of thing. So uh, I don't think students or their parents need to go through this kind of last minute anxiety. So I think CUET itself will need to find its feet, get to a position where they conduct a hassle-free, glitch-free kind of an examination before they look to kind of, uh, ki, okay, aap bhi hamari joint family mein aajau, you know, because neat okay. and JE are grown up students now, you know, they are in their teens, uh, unlike the CUT, which is in its infancy. So it's a strange situation where the younger of the lot wants the, the older siblings to merge with them. But yes, I think uh, it will definitely become the mother of all examinations, but whether it will be an examination which will, uh, it should not become an unwieldy kind of thing leading to more and more confusion because already I feel CUT ka application process itself is a very confusing kind of affair. Students mm-hmm. don't know consa course, consa college, consa university, how to navigate through that application form. Uh, merging NEET and uh, JE. And one more thing, with NEET, there was a lot of, uh, you know, uh, objections from states like Tamil Nadu to the manner in which it was conducted. Those questions are not being addressed. You're just trying to change the nomenclature from a NEET to a CUET. Now, whether that will satisfy those kind of uh, states, students and parents in those states, I don't really think that will happen. Hmm. Okay. I thought I'll ask you, this was a great opportunity. Right. Thank you very much, Kapil. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sudhir. Thank you.